Its inclusion is a respectful way to bridge understanding and communities in, in our beautiful area that we all call home. A sidewalk in Clinch Park now highlights the park's history, beginning in 1852 and ending in 2013. But the historic path does not include the story of the people who lived along the bay well before the 1800s. We have in our stories that uh, the Anishinaabek were here 500 years before Europeans. And definitely, and I think one date that sticks out is 1671, when it's the first documented uh, of the permanency of the Odawa and Ojibwe having settlement right here on the grounds we're, we're speaking on and about. They came to do blueberry picking in the summertime. And so while the permanent villages were more up into Lelanau County, they certainly came down into the Traverse City area and there were Indian trails that went through here uh, long before the 1800s. We went to the city to ask how the historic fact markers were chosen and why the Native American history was left out. But officials said that the only person who could answer was out of town. Derek Bailey will go before the commissioners on Monday night and hopes to gain their support for making a change and adding the Anishinaabe history to the path. By us doing our part today, we'll help in that remembrance of vital cultures that were here and made Traverse City the thriving community that we know now in today's year and hopefully what we leave for future generations.